right there and wait with your grandpa. Dinner's going to be ready pretty soon. Got in trouble, didn't you? Yeah. How did you know? Because they always send the ones that get in trouble to me. What'd you do? Try to grab a cookie. <laughs> a cookie? That's not trouble. I'll tell you what's trouble. Your cousin came over here last week. He got in real trouble. He met up with Turbo the Cat. It all began when they came over for dinner last Saturday. No, one, no, no messing around, none of that, okay? You need to be good. Don't get on Grandpa's nerves. Okay. Don't let him feed you any candy. Right. And do what Grandma says, all right? All right. I mean it. No messing around. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm fine. I thought I could. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, Jerry. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. Hey, Mark, have a cookie. Good. Yeah. Uh, when your cousin was a baby, he'd accidentally pulled Turbo's tail, and Turbo had taken a swipe at him. And from that day to this, he'd always been a little afraid of Turbo. Dustin. Dustin. Yeah? Go get me some bread out of the garage. Yeah. The turbo's in there. Don't be afraid of a cat. Do I have to? Yes. Go get some bread. Come on. Okay. Hurry up. Grandma needs it. From Dustin's position, he just walked into the lion's den. Turbo's domain was the garage, and you never knew where he might be hiding. As he got the bread, he thought he heard something. Went to close the freezer door. There was Turbo. He tried to summon up all his courage. Shoot! Get! Shoot! But Turbo answered back. And then he jumped into the bottom of the freezer and wouldn't come out. Come on, Turbo. Get out of there. I'll bet you come out in ten seconds. Now Dustin figured if he just left him in there a second, he'd want to jump out, but then. Get ready? Yeah. Come on. He was caught. If he opened the freezer door, he'd be in trouble. So he thought maybe he'd come back. And Turbo was left in the freezer. <laughs> 